Why does it make sense to migrate your data? Well, because if you've got all your computer files just sitting on your local computer and your email just sits on your local computer, you need to manage backing that up. If you lose the computer or it gets corrupted or something goes wrong, you may lose that data. And if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, you never wanna lose any information because you might have important customer information in there. Currently I'm working with a private Google and searching so a way to fully migrate to Google Workspace. So if right now your emails are sitting in a third-party provider for yourname.com, right? And it might be GoDaddy, it might be your ISP, so your internet provider, it might be your other web hosting provider. Those emails are basically being downloaded to your computer right now, whether it's Outlook, whether it's Mac Mail, and they're probably sitting locally on your computer. It is possible maybe that you have a Google Workspace account and you've got one of the old legacy plans. So if you've already got your account on Google, that's different. But I'm talking about if you're currently, if you have an email address and that email address is just yourdomain.com and it's being downloaded to your computer. If you wanna switch that domain name into the Google ecosystem, there's a couple of steps to do that. Number one is setting up the account. Number two is migrating your data. First up to set up the account, you wanna create a new Google Workspace account. You're gonna register using your domain name and then you need to verify that account using your DNS. Now DNS is your domain name settings. They're basically the settings that tell email where to go when someone emails the domain name that you own. Now, with your account, once you set it up inside of Google Workspace, you then have the option of cutting over your mail and it's called changing your MX records or your mail records inside your DNS settings. And I know this is getting a little bit technical, but you need to then set up your DNS settings to route the mail into Google. Once you've done that, all of your new email is gonna start flowing into the Google Workspace ecosystem and you'll be able to send and receive emails using your domain name. But the final step is to actually migrate all of your legacy data over into Google. Why does it make sense to migrate your data? Well, because if you've got all your computer files just sitting on your local computer and your email just sits on your local computer, you need to manage backing that up. If you lose the computer or it gets corrupted or something goes wrong, you may lose that data. And if you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, you never wanna lose any information because you might have important customer information in there. Same customer might call you like a year or two down the track and say, hey, I want the same discount you gave me last time or I wanna sue you. You need to make sure that you keep all the data inside your business. And so rather than leaving it on your local computer, you can actually migrate that data into the Google ecosystem. And there's a number of tools and methods and processes for getting that done. And so when you migrate your data into your new Gmail account that you've just created under your domain, it means that you can search and access all of your historical data makes it very very easy and so that step is the migration the migration step is taking all of your data and uploading it and creating it into google now if you'd like some help with that our team do migrations all day long every day of the week and we help businesses move from wherever you are now into the google ecosystem so whether it's from microsoft from mac mail from outlook from godaddy from another email provider blackberry mail server or zimbra mail we used to do those a decade ago if you've got email anywhere somewhere on a computer system and you need to get it into the google ecosystem then our recommendation is you go through that migration process and if you want some help click on the link down below this video and our team will be happy to help you with that if you like this content please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel now, if you'd like to connect with us hit us up on social media or join our free community group all the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.